Hi and welcome to this short tutorial on editing the photograph of the grey lag geese that I took in my video uh, from the, my local lake uh, which you can see on my channel. So we're going to just reset the picture just so I can go through the keystrokes and the workflow that I do just to get a, a simple edit just to change the the picture from the raw file from the camera just to make it a little bit more of a punchier uh, clearer brighter picture so the first thing I've noticed is um, I'm just going to use the uh, spot removal tool here and there's a little bit of a sort of sun reflection or something there there's also a couple of things in the far distance there which are a little bit distracting we'll get rid of that and we'll also get rid of whatever that is there and if we just grab that circle we can make it a little bit more uh, in continuity with the rest of the grass there and we click on done and that's just kind of the first little edit just to tidy the picture up ever so slightly so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use the crop tool uh, there's far too much water here and a little bit too much of the background trees there so we're just going to bring that in and make it a little bit more of a panoramic look so to edit the photograph what I'm going to do is um, the camera that I use which is a 500D Canon is um, sometimes it can be a little bit underexposed so I'm just going to bring up the exposure ever so slightly and we'll take up the contrast just to give it a little bit more of a punch we'll drop some of the highlights and we'll bring up a tiny bit of shadows there I'm going to leave the whites and the blacks as they are with some of the white areas are okay but if you look at the histogram there we're getting a fair balance for the whites and the blacks in between so we'll just leave that for now that's going to just boost the clarity slightly and we'll give it a little bit more vibrance just to give it a tiny little bit of a punch so if we scroll the mouse down we're going to go to the details tab here now something that I like to do is use the masking tool here so if we press the alt button on the PC and click the masking tool our picture will go white but then if we slide it along to the right hand side this is going to show us the areas that will be sharpened only and if we release and move our sharpening tool along we don't sharpen the entire picture we just sharpen those sections uh, that if I show you again it will be those sections in white that will be sharp only we don't really want to get rid of the little bit of bokeh that we've got in the background there that's perfectly fine and just while I'm here you can see in this area here there's a little bit of noise uh, on its preview zoom so if we just take the noise reduction slider along a tiny little bit that will just blank out or, or will get rid of uh, some of those sort of pixelated noise areas that we've got in there I'm not going to touch anything else under the noise reduction tab for the moment if we go to our basic tab under lens corrections and we'll enable profile corrections and remove chromatic aberration now um, I will do another tutorial on chromatic aberration at some point if we go back to our profile tab on this version of Lightroom for some reason it doesn't have the lens that I used which if I change to Canon will then show me that it's a 75 to 300 millimeter lens by default but for some reason it doesn't automatically select that under profile corrections there so um, that's basically just sort of either straightened out or moved out the lens bending um, that, that might be in there uh, just from the raw file uh, which can happen on some of the lenses and cameras um, the final thing I want to do is something I've just started to do recently is under the cam camera calibration uh, section if we click on Adobe Standard here if I then choose camera landscape it's just brought out a little bit more of the sunlight a little bit more of the greens and the blues just 
the final little punch that it's given us just to finish the picture off. And there we have it, there's our finished photograph, uh, a little bit brighter and punchier than we uh, had it originally from the camera. Thanks very much for watching, please don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you on the next video.